Rim Country News brought to you by Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. Same stop, different horses since 1916. And by Terlucas and Brandt CPA PLLC, with a long history of providing quality CPA services right here in Rim Country. On this Thursday, February 10th, for Tano TV, KRIM Radio News, and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson with your Rim Country News headlines. Well, the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office says a person died after an ATV overturned near Sycamore Creek late Saturday night. According to MCSO Sergeant Monica Batato, it happened around 9.40 p.m. When deputies arrived, they found two people involved in the crash. One person was pronounced dead on scene, and the other person was not injured. The identity and age of the victim has not been released. The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office Vehicular Crimes Unit is still investigating the crash, and that investigation is ongoing. In other news, after the Telegraph fire swept through the Tano National Forest and scorched the desert near Superior, Globe, and Miami, a generous monsoon revised, uh, revived rather, desert grasses. But that golden carpet isn't necessarily a sign of a healthy landscape. The fire took out saguaros, barrow cactus, and other Sonoran desert plants. Summer rains have restored some plant life, but much of it has come in the form of invasives, which can burn hotter than native turf. Patty Fenner specializes in noxious weeds and is the executive director of the Friends of the Tano National Forest. She says buffalo grass has begun to inch into areas which could make matters even worse. She said, quote, it burns and then it just sprouts right back. It loves fire. I mean, we had mesquite trees left that sprouted this time, but if you have a lot of buffalo grass in there, that's not going to happen. So, she said, I see things getting more extreme as the years go by. Well, the Telegraph fire burned through about 180,000 acres and destroyed several homes in the Miami area. Well, coming up in Rim Country weather, well, it looks like more unseasonably warm, dry weather is in store for Rim Country over the next few days, but another shot at winter weather may be just around the corner. A complete report on your seven-day forecast is coming up next. You're watching Rim Country News. Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. It's not just a bar, it's a destination. Jake's started out as an Arizona stage stop way back in 1916, and folks have been stopping here ever since. Jake's also has been famous as a popular stopping spot for travelers headed to Rim Country or Roosevelt Lake. But as more people discover this historic stop, more and more, it becomes the destination. It was even featured in the 2008 movie Jake's Corner and later featured at the Sedona Film Festival. Ice cold beers from the tap, imported or specialty beers, a generously stocked full bar and great food that keeps you wanting to come back again and again. Enjoy a game of pool inside or step out and enjoy the covered patio and outdoor bar with live entertainment and much more. We hope to see you soon at one of the most historic stopping spots in Arizona. Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. It's not just a bar, it's a destination. Hi, I'm Michael Dowling with the Old County Inn and Pinewood Tavern. So we've been using True Lucas and Brandt probably for the last four years. They've been really awesome to work with, um, Amy and Marguerite. They do everything now from pretty much all of our payroll needs, pay all of our taxes. They even help us uh, on Fridays to pick up our checks, which is great since they're local. But I pretty much use them for everything. They've been awesome to work with and they take off all the things I don't have to worry about as far as taxes go so I can concentrate on my business. But as for now, they're pretty much doing all of my personal taxes, all of our payroll needs, all of our business taxes, and very affordable and just awesome to work with. And they're local, so we really appreciate them and they've been a great partner with us so far. Well, taking a look now at your Rim Country seven day weather forecast, Another weak short wave trough drops through the region today. Periods of mid to upper level cloud cover are likely during this time. Winds will be gusty in some areas. The strongest of the winds should be over to our west, however. Now, the, we could see some gusty north to northeast winds if you're up on top of the Muggion Rim or over in the Bradshaw Mountains. 
Now with no moisture around as the wave crosses our area, we will see some cloud development at best, but no precipitation is expected. The wave will bring some slightly cooler air to the area, but temperatures will still remain around 5 to 10 degrees above normal. Behind the wave, we'll see temperatures rebound, and Friday may be yet the warmest day of this unseasonably warm stretch of weather that uh, has been coming around rim country the past few days. Temperatures are going to be around 10 to 15 degrees above normal in many areas on Friday. Another weak wave may cross the region Saturday, but once again, it'll only have some stronger winds and a few clouds to show for it. There also will be no real cold air arriving behind that wave, and temperatures will remain warm throughout the weekend. Now, forecast model guidance continues to show that we could have some uh, rather winter weather precipitation arriving toward the middle part of next week. Now, confidence continues to grow a bit that we might see something falling from the skies, so we keep the mention of some rain or snow for Tuesday and Tuesday night. Now, while this doesn't look to be a big weather event by any means, at this point it does bear watching as the ensemble guidance has been steady with showing some forms of precipitation in the uh, midweek period this next week. With that still being a few days away and the models not having all the data yet from the developing trough uh, as of yet, there can still be changes to the forecast. It's worth monitoring though as it has been some time since many places have seen really any form of precipitation and it'll be a welcome sight should it occur. Well meanwhile, highs and lows around rim country today, well, they should be looking something like this. In Payson today, you can expect sunny skies with a high near 64. Northeast winds 6 to 13 miles an hour with gusts as high as 21 miles per hour. Tonight, it should be clear and calm with a low around 34. Up on top of the rim at Forest Lakes, well, they should see a high today right up around 51 degrees and their overnight low tonight down near 27. But again, the gustier winds up there are going to make it feel a lot colder than that. Well, down south in Tano Basin, eh, not too breezy down here today with a really nice high of 75 expected. Tonight's low down around 42 degrees. And that's what's happening around Rim Country. For Tano TV, KRAM Radio News, and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson. Make it a great Thursday.